I always like to listen to Floyd when it when it comes to uh, big stages like this, cause he's the he's the he's the only one that been in, in, in my shoes and, and and been like in these type of fights. You know what I mean? So I always try to stay uh, close to Floyd when stuff like this happens. I always appreciate Floyd for being in my corner. It is said that Javant and Floyd have made an effort to put their differences aside and are trying to move on with their lives while keeping things civil. Following Mayweather's fight against Body Thiai. Tank reportedly had a private conversation with Floyd in which he congratulated him on his performance. This was after Floyd had shown respect for Cesar Chavez Sr. Tank believed Floyd was jealous of him, but it appears that he was mistaken. Mm. He was going at me, yeah. and I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. There's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's what I I'm at that point where I passed him. Mm. And, I, and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, You'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the, yeah, that's a part that's of deal. He, ain't, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. <laughs> and y'all just. I knew that Floyd was targeting me, which is why I went after him. There was no justification for me to do so. You'll see, dude. That deal I'm talking about is real. He doesn't know about it yet, but it's greater than his deal. Wow. And let me just say that Mayweather had a huge impact on Tank's early career. Under Mayweather's tutelage, Floyd not only functioned as a promoter but also as a mentor, providing Davis with insights into the technical and financial aspects of boxing. He rose from a budding amateur fighter to become a world champion renowned for his explosive fighting style and knockout power. The foundation of Tank's ascent in the boxing world was their relationship, which was once based on mutual respect and admiration. However, success also brought with it complications. As Tank's career advanced, so did his ambition and desire for independence. This growing desire to carve out his own path eventually caused strain in the relationship between mentor and protege, setting the stage for the highly anticipated live match. Got something to say? If you're doing bad, they got something to say. So, do what makes you happy. Because you see this jet, you see this private jet that we own? I got it because I did what the I wanted to do. I made over a billion dollars, you know why? Because I did what the I wanted to do. I'm going to always tell Tank, you as Von Davis advanced through the ranks, he rapidly established himself as one of the most formidable fighters in the lightweight and super featherweight divisions. His combination of strength and agility made him a formidable opponent, but as he gained notoriety, so did his ambitions and the tension between him and Floyd Mayweather Floyd, who was renowned for exercising strict control over his brand, and Legacy appeared to have different ideas about tanks. Mayweather's approach to boxing was always about maintaining control both inside and outside the ring he was known for carefully selecting opponents and managing his career to maximize earnings and preserve his undefeated record tank, on the other hand, seemed eager to take on. A kid came up to me when he was a kid, wanted the autograph. Um, I signed his phone for him and told him, you'll be world champion someday and you, I'll be your promoter. Years later, he was working with some people from our team because our team is huge. We, we we got guys in D.C., Baltimore, Philly, New York, all around. He won a few fights. I think he was like eight, eight or nine and oh. I told him, in under 24 months, you'll be world champ. Made the right moves, put him in the right position. He's a multi-millionaire now. He was, the, he was the kid that couldn't even couldn't even buy a bus ticket. All comers driven by a desire to prove himself as the best fighter in the world, this divergence in approach led to Friction Tank feeling increasingly confined by Mayweather's careful matchmaking and business strategy began to push back the once close-knit relationship began to fray with Davis. Seeking more autonomy and Mayweather struggling to maintain his influence over the young star you doing good, they got something to say, if you're doing bad they got something to say, so do what makes you happy, because you see this jet you see this private jet that we own I got it, because I did what I wanted to do I made over a billion dollars you know why cuz I did what I wanted to do I'm going to always tell T do what you want to do the recent exhibition match between Floyd Mayweather and John Gotti I I I was more than just another spectacle to mark his official retirement guys the two guys well the biggest puncher I feel at at the 135 would probably be Javante Tank Davis mm -hmm. but the most Skillful fighter, skillful fighter at 135 would be hands down Shakur Stevens. But do you think he has enough power to sustain? Well, it's, all, it's really all about skills. Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher, but he mm -hmm. was, I mean, very exciting. 
um, very tough, and he fought everybody. And Shakur is trying to do the same thing. He want to fight the best they got out there. Um, he's asking, um, can he fight the best? Um, I believe his contract is coming to an end. So hopefully, um, we can come together and I could take him to that next level and give him and give him the fights that he need. That he it was a testament to his lasting legacy and his ability to stay relevant in the sport even after that. The fight, which took place in Miami, attracted a lot of attention due to Mayweather's name and his affiliation with the notorious Gotti family. Mayweather demonstrated the same defensive mastery that defined his career even at 47 he was able to control the pace of the fight, anticipate his opponent's moves, and avoid damage. Although the bout didn't affect his official record, it served as a reminder to the world of Mayweather's unparalleled capacity to attract crowds and create excitement. It also brought to light the stark difference between Floyd's exhibition career in Tank while Mayweather seems to be more interested in using these displays as a means of amusement and brand maintenance. And O Fighter will defend his championship against the former IBF super featherweight king, Joe Cardina, on October 12th in Saudi Arabia on the same card as Dmitry Bivol and Artur Better Biev contesting the undisputed light heavyweight championship, which is one hell of a card. A future showdown with mandatory challenger William Zapeda awaits the winner of Shakur Stevenson versus Joe Cardina, and Shakur is confident he's gonna set up that mega fight with the undefeated Mexican. Speaking to Matchroom, Stevenson said, I've made it clear that I want the biggest names and the biggest fights in the sport. Bring on Willie Cepeda at the top of 2025 and I'm ready for anyone. Davis's continuous pursuit of boxing greatness for Tank, every battle is a step towards constructing his legacy. Although there are few specifics available about this said meeting, one of the most fascinating aspects of the Mayweather-Gotti fight was the notion that Gervon Davis and Floyd Mayweather had a backstage discussion. The boxing community has been abuzz with rumors about a possible meeting between Floyd and Davis. If it had actually happened, there's a good chance that tension would have been high as a worldwide celebrity might have confronted. I got a good relationship with Floyd. I think truthfully, like me watching like his situation, I think Floyd got a lot of haters. Like, I think a lot of people just hate Floyd. And I think Floyd do play a part in it, but I still think like he, uh, he got people that hate, like his whole life is like on a like level where it's like anything he say or do, everybody's going to make a big deal about it. And people got to realize he's still human. Yeah. Like he's still a human being yeah. at the end of the day. He still is bleed like we bleed. And in my opinion, is like any little thing he do, everybody's going to make a big deal about it. He say this, they're going to make a big deal. It's going to become the biggest story. We're not perfect. Everybody got their wrongs. Everybody got their uh, rights. But... Me, from my relationship with him, I feel as though, uh, been cool with me. Did he call you before or after the Artem fight? Uh, yeah, he called me after the fight. He was telling me little things that I, I could uh, do in the ring. And um, like I said, I appreciate that. That's what I really be wanting like from Floyd. Like, I want to hear the boxing. I want to hear, okay, what you think I, I could do to help my game evolve? Man? Um, I appreciate all of y'all. Like, I appreciate every last word that y'all uh, put in you floyd about what he saw as slights and disrespect but floyd ever the master strategist might have taken the chance to remind davis of the lessons that helped him succeed the significance of this supposed meeting transcends beyond a simple human interaction it represents the continuous conflict between the traditional boxing paradigms represented by mayweather and the next generation represented by fighters like tank davis the unresolved tension between these two characters serves as a microcosm of the larger dynamics at play in the sport today. Years later, he was working with some members of our team, CU. Our team is huge, we have guys in DC, Baltimore, Philly, and New York. He won a few fights, I believe he was like 88 or N and 0. I told him in less than 24 months, you'll be world champion. The right moves put him in the right position. And now he's a multi-millionaire. Respect for Tank's desire to fight was one of the main issues that surfaced during their televised dispute with Floyd, which had been boiling for years. Floyd Mayweather settles a personal score rather than just competing in the sport. Davis has long believed that even though Mayweather is his mentor, he has not treated him with the dignity that a champion and a man should have. This belief has shown itself in a number of ways, including remarks made in public and Mayweather's management style. Even in retirement, facing Mayweather is no easy task. For Davis, 
Entering the ring with Mayweather would be the ultimate opportunity to demonstrate his independence and demand the respect he believes he is due. Floyd is among the world's most accomplished boxers. His experience, ring smarts, and defensive prowess make him a formidable foe for any fighter, even those with tank-like skills. But for Davis, the fight is about more than just winning a victory over Mayweather would not only settle the score but also elevate Davis to the ranks of boxing greats.